Hello? Hi? I, I'm, I'm getting ads. Now I remember. Okay, I sound fine, right? I'm just doing a little audio test as like a little treat. I can turn World of Horror up a little bit. World of Horror is a little bit quiet. Just a, just a tiny bit. It's at 40, we can bring that up to 50. That's fine. Hello, hello Okamaku Tree. How are you doing tonight? So we're gonna do a little bit of a stream. I've been wanting to do a stream recently, but I didn't have the energy for it, but I want the next video to not be a world of horror because I like that thing where it's like wah other wah bonus wah bonus wah bonus wah bonus right and I'm gonna try to make the next video another disillusion thing because I wanted to do that more than once a week but so we're just being a little cheeky because this is still technically doing a daily world of horror but it's also on the live stream page And I think I am going to try to stream once a week on Thursdays. Because I don't really I don't really have anything going on on Thursdays. Now that I think about it. Like, besides being invited to play video games late at night, uh, there's nothing really I, I, in the evening in, on Thursdays. I don't really got anything going on. So it's, a, it's actually a pretty good time to fit in a stream. And I didn't want to do Saturday and Sunday. Because I'm, I'm a little bit busy on Saturday and Sunday. So, Thursday... Uh, is a convenient day. So I think this is going to be the beginning of a Thursday streaming arc. And so you might not get daily was on Thursday. You might get a live stream on Thursdays instead. Because I've got this very nice time slot from about 8 minutes ago for about an hour and 30 minutes where it's like, pretty fine. So with that being said, I sound fine. Uh, this wonderful GIF animation was made by Bunny Bones, by the way. Absolutely top tier. We're gonna go ahead and jump into, and of course she gave me full permission to use it, I asked before. We're going to jump in to a little World of Horror as a treat. As just a little bit of a treat. Now, I am going to get music up because I don't like listening to myself while I'm streaming. Because it makes it just a little bit hard to talk. Just a little bit. It's not um, impossible. When I first started doing this and I had to do live audio checks, talking while you hear yourself talking at a delay was basically impossible. Like, if you've never done that before, like, set up something to where you can hear yourself and then try to, like, have a coherent conversation, talk out loud, and just kind of ramble on about something while you hear yourself talking back at, like, a half-second delay. We're on ultra-low latency right now because there's no, like, competitive thing that would make it to where, like, oh, you know... If I, uh, if I, if I'm if i on ultra low latency, I'm gonna be, uh, gonna be compromising the integrity of competitive law. Nah, nah, nah. If you do something like League of Legends, you probably, uh, you probably just a little bit. There we go. Added to library. Sorry, there was a new Machine Girl album that came out a few days ago. Not an album, sorry. I didn't want to get anybody excited. An EP, an EP, and a single? Me me when I'm sleepy. Uh, it with three songs. It came out a few days ago. It's really good, but I didn't have it in my library for whatever reason, so I just had to add it to my library real quick. Very good. I don't know why, but like... A video game that could capture the aesthetic of the song Black Glass is just, like, my perfect aesthetic for a game, and I do not know how to explain it other than that. So I think... I don't have a window capture up. I don't want the window capture up. Capture... 
Oh, this is kind of neat, actually. You can see the, um... When I have it set up like this, I'm gonna change it in a second, but you can actually see the reshade settings. I'm gonna turn them off, because I just wanted an extra vibrant Jaguar color palette, but that's kind of cool. Uh, can I do capture full screen application? No, 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 specific window, sorry. There we go, worldofhorror.exe. Very nice. All right, let me just fix the color palette here real quick. And we'll go ahead and get, just jump into it. We're just gonna jump into it. Let's just jump into it. So, we're gonna do a few runs tonight. And I'm thinking, let's start it out pretty shrimple. Let's not do anything too crazy. We're gonna save the Kyrie run for last because that's usually the most unhinged. Let's go ahead and do... I think we can start off the night with a, a character that I'd actually like to play. That sounds good. Give him random backstory. Give her a random backstory here. And... What old god? Yeah, I'm thinking... Uh... I'm thinking it too, too. I'm thinking the devouring fire. Medical history, huh? That's, uh... Eh. Nothing, uh, nothing too wrong with that. I do wish... I had... A slightly better way of seeing... I need to organize my windows better. Because the one thing that I am I hate about OBS, or not OBS, sorry, Slobs, Streamlabs OBS, is they do this really annoying thing where they give you notifications for the stream and also notifications for the platform in the same area. Like, I get you gotta advertise, and it's definitely, like, the best way to do it, because, the, like, whenever I see that there's a notification... I get, I panic, because the only notification that I really care about is that the stream health is not very good, right? So, the fact that they put those notifications, and we'll just go ahead and spam through this. The, the fact that they just kind of like, they put, hey, would you like to apply for TikTok streaming access in the same area as they would put, hey, your stream isn't working properly, please take these technical steps. The plunger head special, huh? I mean, he does do that, uh... He does do that pants grab thing that he's been known to do, as is his want. But you didn't hear that from me. I don't know why, that sounds so awful. <laughs> that sounds so awful. Violent Vigil, Coma, Fear Festival, Footage, Thaumaturgy Teacher. I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. I'm thinking I'm, I, I'm thinking it's, uh, uh, we could do found footage or we could do thaumaturgy teacher. We need to do thaumaturgy teacher second or first. Plunger told the unwashed masses that he did the Druids video pantsless. Oh my. I, I vaguely remember that. But you know, man's in the privacy of his own home. I mean, Halligan is staring down, but uh, just blankly at the at the screen. Do you think Halligan knows that he's being watched over Discord? Don't know. If you're wondering where what Plunger's up to now, if you want the uh, after series, where are they now? Uh, Plunger has become addicted to League of Legends, and he is an Alawi 
OTP in the mid lane. That's uh that that's where Plunger is now. He is not using the power of the druids. Cause I think Alawi's more of like a shaman or a priestess. But evil gods are still involved. Holy crap. You still play this? I do. I do still play this every day. And then there's occasionally bonus variety, such as Lunacid Rimworld and Dark Souls and now Disillusion and among other things, TM. Gotta, gotta get the shill in. Gotta, gotta get the like and subscribe in. We need to get a weapon. We need to get a weapon. Oh, I know exactly what we can do. Get me in there. Uh, get this out of here. Go ahead and sell one of these bandages. I don't really want to reroll. I'm thinking... I'm thinking heavy-duty flashlight. League of Legends, so he's in a whole new salt arc. No way. True. Hold on. I'm going to I'm going to screen grab that real quick. I think Plunger needs to see this. I'm just going to grab that real quick. I'll send that to him later. I don't know if we're rolling tonight, but that is very funny. Listen, Plunger does not actually... Okay, we all get tilted. We, we started a League of Legends group. We have a pretty consistent group that plays. I am probably the person who gets the least tilted the least salty and i have been described as when i do get salty what's the word was it incredulous where it's just like i i i'm in disbelief that it's happening and that that's how i get salty plunger is pretty cool as a cucumber but when he gets a bad matchup or he's not allowed to play the game he's just like he he's just in remiss he's he's just he's he's just in remiss and I remember Plunger wanted to do League of Legends content. He wanted to do, like, a League of Legends climbing ranked. And I would be fine with that. I, I would be completely fine with that. The thing is, though, we rarely are just playing the two of us. And when the whole group is playing, like, we have, we have one person in the group. She is a trundle main and she just is screaming a lot of the time <laughs> so i don't i don't think that's what i want i don't think that's what i want we we have a very strange we have a very strange group i'm probably the only person who plays like a normal champion in a normal role i'm a briar jungle main you're allowed to hate me for that by the way that's valid I'm a Briar Jungle main. Not an OTP! I can play several characters. I I usually don't like doing it like this, but let's go ahead and... We'll, we'll take a Threatening Forest, why not? Because I don't actually remember if this is Bulletin or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We probably should have made a low threat level Forest, but yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm willing to experiment. So, we have a Trundle Top... That's fine. That's kind of normal. Briar Jungle. Illawi Mid, which is Plunger. And then Vex APC. And then that's the that's the kind of group that I'm rolling with. And then it's like I flex support jungle. I, I can I can do any role at like a bronze level. And everybody else is new, so. I'm usually the person who's doing the best because we're normally up against people who are like bronze gold and that's like low elo so it's like very easy to very easy to win in that especially if you're playing a hyper carry like Briar. I have a few 20 plus kill games it's uh very silly League of Legends is weird and you probably here's the thing I do not have to worry 
as much about getting like somebody who's watching these videos or watching these live streams and playing League of Legends. We have to do Thaumaturgy Teacher second. It's the rule. I don't really have to worry about it as much because League of Legends is like one of the most difficult games to get into. Same thing with something like Dota or Smite, right? Like any MOBA is so, so hard to get into. The only game that I think was harder for me to get into than League of Legends was Depth. Because back when I played Depth, there was only like 500, 400 people who played that game. And everybody who played that game was max level. They knew what they were doing. They played like a thousand plus games. They were absolutely cracked. And I had no idea what I was doing. They knew all the spawn points for all the sharks. They knew all the counters, all the upgrades, how to exploit every shark, how to exploit diver strategies, everything like that. That was the most difficult game I've ever had to get into. And the thing is with that is I, one of the first games in depth I ever played, I picked the Thresher Shark, which is a very difficult shark to play because it's a light shark. And I went up against some guy with potatoes in his name. And he was a diver main. I don't even remember if he was a diver main, but he was super experienced. And what he did was he just sat out in the open ocean because he knew I was bad at the game. And he would one-shot me on spawn. Right? Like, he, he would just one-shot... Like, I would spawn, and because I didn't know the techniques to dodge spawn camping, he would just... He would pre-fire in every direction where I could spawn and he would kill me instantly. Like, I would click the respawn button and I would immediately die. And that was one of the first experiences I ever had in depth, and I had to make a choice. Like, I knew immediately, right then and there, I was either never playing this game again, or I was going to dedicate, like, 400 hours of my life to being good at this game. And I decided to dedicate, like, 200 hours of my life to be good at the game. And the thing is... It is basically, oh, uh, what do we want to do here? I think folklore, yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. Basically, I had to spend, like, it was, like, 80 hours before I was able to even, like, taste victory. And I had to, like, work my ass off to even, like, take 10 tickets from divers. It was a brutal game to get into. And it was inaccessible. It was completely inaccessible because nobody in their right mind is going to be like, yeah, I'm going to spend my free time, my precious free time that I could be doing anything else, and I'm just going to get stomped for 80 million years. Do I have a an image that will block this? I mean, this will work well enough. An emote that you get for being a member on the channel. Give me money! Anyways. Yeah, we're fine. That's that's good enough. Sorry it's not as precise as the other one. Four Doom! Can I block and get away with this? Nope. Sad. I wish I could block there, but I did not have the... I did not have the ability to do that. I was not fast enough. So, like, the thing is, League of Legends is kinda similar, right? Like, Depth was insanely inaccessible, because the only people who played it are people who were, like, you know, gods at it, right? crowns, we call them, because when you got to level 100, you got a crown on your shark and your diver, right? So, when I got into League of Legends, that was accessible because that has a fully functional bots mode, and there are people who are around your skill level that you can play with, because there's so many people who uh, play League of Legends, right? It had a big play. It has a big player base, right? So, when you when you get into a situation like that though if you try playing league of legends you are going to get your ass beat right like league of legends is so incredibly difficult to play 
and you do not know what you're doing wrong and when you're doing it. Um, this actually sucks, by the way. I did not plan this at all. I did not plan this at all. So... We're gonna have to make a choice. And we're gonna make it the the forest choice. But we'll uh, we'll see what we can do. I guess we have it on threat, so... We'll just go ahead and do it like this. I don't really like taking the damage, but here we are. Oh, yeah, sorry, hold on. I gotta go... Uh, I, I should have used the bandage already, because badly bleeding is a minor injury. Just a, a minor case of badly bleeding. No worries, everybody. The bandage will take care of it. Nothing, and nothing to worry about. Don't worry about it at all. So, if you, like, let's say somebody watching this or listening to this decides, like, oh, Webweaver talks about League of Legends a lot, and he and his friends have a lot of fun playing it, I'm gonna try it. You're gonna download League of Legends, you're gonna play the game, you're gonna have no idea what you're doing. And then if you have the, if you're foolish enough to go into a player game, you are going to run it down, you're gonna be farmed, you're gonna die like 10 times in the first like 5 minutes of the game, and your team is gonna say things to you that you never thought another human being would say to you, and that's just gonna be like your experience for your first 100 games. You're not gonna be able to do anything. And then finally, on your 100, 101th game, your 101 game, something is gonna, a flip is gonna be switched. And you're going to get into a situation where you're like, wait, I understand kind of what's going on. And if you don't have a friend holding your hand through that, you're never going to do it. You're never going to do it. Like, the, the fact that it's a game that exists that you have to put so much of your time and effort into. Do we have a... that we do? Ugh. Well, we're still going to rest anyways. The fact that you have to put so much time and effort into making this happen... To be able to play the game at not even a beginner level, but an entry level, and then you're still gonna get dumpstered for your next like 400 games. And again, these games are like 30 minutes to 40 minutes sometimes. Like, it's not gonna happen, right? Like, it, it's not gonna happen. You might have a bad experience for like a couple hours trying to make it work, but most people, most sane people, are gonna give up. And so I don't really have to worry about it as much. Like, I'm going to tell you it's a bad game and you shouldn't play it, but if you try to play it, if you go against my warnings, you're not going to get very far unless you have a friend. And if you have a friend, then it's a more enjoyable experience, you know? But yeah, no, League of Legends is a horrible game. You should not play it. And you probably shouldn't get your friends into it, but, you know... Some my friends got me into it, and I got some of my friends into it. It's like, uh, it's like a vampire, you know? You're, you're passing on the vampiric curse. Four stamina is, like, a lot, actually, you know? Like, it's kind of a lot. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna dust the seeing Sutashan. What we're gonna do here. And then we're gonna desperation, I guess? And gonna be all right with dying if it doesn't work out, you know? It worked out, all right. Thank you, 90% chance. Very cool. And thank you. I'm not a big fan of uh, any of the stuff that's really happening here. But we have Fear Festival on the horizon, right? So we're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay, chat. All right, so go ahead and switch this over to the forest. Feel pretty good about that. And then pray to God that you don't die here. Probably should be wearing the ritual mask here. I mean, not like it can work during events, but in case we got into a fight, you never know what can happen. And now we pick a god and pray. Honestly, I might have even preferred, like, Flood on the horizon, because then we get to full heal for, like, no consequence. But this, there, there are consequences of my actions here. And one of those consequences is it's gonna take a lot of doom to get up here. Just consider it Miku leveling. Just making Miku stronger. 
But should you be resting at all? Ooh. All right, let's do it. Oh my god, I accidentally clicked out of the window, but I clicked right back in at the last second. Oh god. I'm not gonna spend 4% doom to get plus one, plus one. That's not worth it. We're, we're gonna fish for allies and see if we can get somebody good. Ah, uh, I think we can get a grip. I think we can get a grip. I'm not a big fan of it, but are we paranoid? Uh, we are... We are paranoid, actually, yeah. Sorry, Kazumi. I don't think... I, I don't think killing Kazumi for, uh, 4% doom is worth it. I mean, it's fun, don't get me wrong, but... Trying to move lucrative through this forest makes it kind of difficult. So, Ritual Mask, you could have the opportunity to, you know, help us out here just a little bit. Do we take Doom or the Stamina? I think we gotta take the Stamina. Like, you, you gotta try to make a Strength check going on when you can. Yeah, we got seven Strength. Me and Dog Rutsu. All right, now we, we definitely do not want to fight here. We don't... I mean, the stats would be nice, don't get me wrong, but... The Doom is just... We would rather just get in and out of this real quick. Just real quick. Just real quick. Just real quick. Just get in and out of here real quick. Thank you. Doomed already? You're gonna be very useful. If, uh... Yikes. Actually, Fetid Fumes does nothing. I, I, I rescind the yikes. So, Violent Vigil, huh? 71% Doom. Now, we don't have roads closed, which is good because we're not on the road. We're, we're, we're moving in a building. We're not actually leaving the building either, ever. So, I'm a little bit upset, you know, that it would... I mean... All right, you know what you gotta do. Oh, I whoops! I I thought it I thought it said miss, so I threw it. Uh, it though, uh, it though probably won't matter. Probably won't matter. This is a low threat level area, so I will take the healing. That is like, the Wa historians will be like, write that down, write that down. He hasn't done that in eighty years. All right, vigil pamphlet. Bow, yeah, yeah, whatever. We do not want... To f we don't want to fight. We, we definitely do not want to fight any of the... Oh, no. Oh, thank God. Thank you. We don't want to fight any of these bonus enemies. We want to just get, like... We, we just want to go... Oh, no, bro. Come on. Beautiful, beautiful, absolutely perfect. You love to see it. The the other world giveth and the other world taketh. This time it giveth. Thank you, very cool. Uh, sure, we have knowledge. It's a low threat level area. Maybe we should try to, you know, reliably work with that at some point. Nah, eh, just, just, just thinking about it. All right, now we're at threat level location. Go ahead and burn the envelope. I don't want to get 3% doom here. I don't want to get 3% doom here. Now I'd love to take minus 3% doom. All right. So we're we're good. We're we're good. We're good. We we can we can You know what? I forget I ever said anything and I'm sorry for not equipping you small candle. How the hell are we going to do this? Send dog to bite for two damage? No, 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 no. Honestly? If I'm being real with you, chat, I think we're bailing. Like, even after throwing that. Oh my god, I almost clicked carve the curse symbol. I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, press the button that ends the mystery. That button does not end the mystery. It does not end the mystery, chat. Alright, before we level up, let's take a look at the lighthouse. We do not have Heart of Darkness. Let's see what we got here. Knowledge, we're good. 
Second mystery it was Thaumaturgy. Second enemy probably won't matter. Charisma were bad. Strength were good. Light source were good. So we're not going to die. We're not going to die. So what we should just be able to do is just take a point of Charisma and be pretty fine with that. We don't have Innsmouth look, right? And I think we're I think we're good. I think we're fine. I think if you wanted to absolutely win there, you should have equipped small candle and then just like lived your life out in peace. But we kept with the whatchamacallit, so we're alright. We're we're fine. Me and Chaos Rising Rutsu. Uh the second enemy was I think Susuchan was the First enemy? I don't know. I don't think it matters. We don't have Takashi. And we're gonna make all the other checks. And we've already made the other Doom checks, so I think we're totally a-okay. It does end the mystery and the game as a treat. Just as like a little treat. 2460, huh? Uh, all right, so What do we want to do next we're saving the Kyrie run for last We F with DND no way DND I F with that <laughs> Moving on Mizuki redemption run Mizuki Redemption Run. Let me hit you up with something controversial, alright? If you want this to be the Mizuki Redemption Run, let's make it the Mizuki Redemption Run. Honestly, I'm not... I, I don't mess with those. Get them out of here. These are also bad. Get them out of here. You're goddamn right. Chat, we're bawling. Now, what am I gonna be doing with this? <laughs> Don't you worry about it. All will be revealed in due time. Also, let's just do this real quick anything to be able to show it off some more there's probably i mean there absolutely is a way to do this to make it like a like a fade in fade out transition that'd be pretty cool instead of just an abrupt jump cut should probably look into doing that if i'm gonna stream more tape vigil footage household hell noisy nails also, whatever happened to that balance patch? Wasn't that supposed to be out last month, or am I insane? Because, like, I wanted to do the tier list before the balance patch came out, and then I was like, I forgot about it. Skull emoji. And it's just like, I don't think the balance patch has happened yet. Or at least my game hasn't updated. I don't think Yashiro in a Speedo is, uh, advertiser-friendly. <laughs> Apparently I can hit a button, by the way, to, to start playing advertisements. I don't know, um, I, I didn't, like, so normally YouTube does advertisements, like, man, like, automatically for you. Household Hell Noisy Nails, Found Footage, Violent Vigil. All right, there's a lot of... A lot of forest for us today, a lot of vigils, a lot of mansions for us today. But the thing is, whenever I try to watch a like a Twitch stream, I just go in there and it's like unskippable three minute ad and I'm like, huh? And so I uh I don't like that. I don't necessarily like that. So I think there's with the settings that I have on right now, there's like an ad when you click on it. And then that should be it. Because it, it, it's like the... It, it's the option that interrupts the... It's the option that interrupts the viewer experience the least. 
EXP bonus for assessing situation during combat once per enemy. Well... Really? Sure. Now, what I want to do is I want to have an army. I want to do the ally attacking thing, right? Many people have been saying this. Many people have been uh, demanding the ally attack barrage, the, the army, the cooperative attack. And so that's what we're going to do here. That's what we're going to do here. Take a nap. Jog around the block. I mean, doing some exercise is uh, always a good idea. The mansion is doomed. Oh my god. You do kind of hate to see that. So, let me get some water here. And then I have an anecdote topic, alright? Because it's I've I've been watching it recently, okay? You've been warned, TM. Right. So first of all, how does our how do, how does this look? Kinda kinda cooking. Kinda cooking. Shoot. Here's our chance, Mizuki gets thrown halfway across the forest, crashing down into a crater, colliding into the side of a mountain. The strongest man eating plant of all time. All right, what we're gonna do is this and one of these. There we go. We're learning the, the ways of the ally attack. I'm gonna die though, so let's let's go ahead and go ahead and get some stamina. And you know what? I'll get rid of these flashbacks. I don't need them. So here's the deal, right? I have been watching. I have been watching because I never fully committed to watching it. The Legend of Korra. Avatar The Legend of Korra. Now, here's the thing. Avatar The Legend of Korra is not as good as Avatar The Last Airbender. And I don't think... I think that's probably, like, the most lukewarm take I could ever say. Because I think, like, 99.99% .99 of people agree with me. Because I have heard nothing about bad things. I I've heard nothing but bad things about this show. But I will say one thing is that it has a major disadvantage and i know i'm gonna sound like a like a, a youtuber with like a cartoon persona who has multiple like reaction image styles when i'm talking right but the problem with korra is the original series avatar the last airbender had an extraordinarily simple premise okay of and it got reinforced in the intro of every episode which is the fire nation changed everything when they attacked the world needs the avatar my brother and i found the avatar the avatar needs to become strong enough to save the world right real and true oh jeez I'm a little bit worried about this, but let's let's see where the ally attack can take us. Doing a lot of four damage, you know? I I, I doing a lot of four damage. Feeling a little bit feeling a little bit nervous here. I don't know if these allies are pulling their weight. But but we'll see. And so this is a this is a simple premise, right? This is a simple, easy-to-understand premise that it can be summarized in that short amount of time. Uh-oh. Why did it stop working? There we go. That's weird. This game's weird. In... <laughs> in The Legend of Korra, they are doing plot lines that are so complicated. 
that they are more complicated and more, like, difficult to understand than anything that the original series did. And the original series had three seasons of television dedicated to a very simple to understand purpose. And Korra has four seasons that are like 12 to 14 episodes each. And each season is dedicated to like this insane bullshit that is crazy. Like, and they don't even introduce the premise of the season immediately, right? So it's like, you get, like, for season two, season two is, I think, the, the worst season. I'm, I, I haven't finished it yet, but, like, I've seen seasons one through three. I think season two is easily the worst season, not because it's, like, terrible, but because it has the most complicated plot that you would really, really want some explanation about you know you would really want just to kind of like understand hey this is like what's going on you would want longer because i think it gets like what 14 episodes and two of them are the the like the origin story episode and for what it's worth i don't like the actual story but i think those the two parter of season two are the are like two of the best episodes because they are able to carry the story and they're they're able to tell the complicated story in 40 minutes but not 20 right does that make sense like they have it's so weird because it genuinely feels like season one is i'm scattered all over the place at this point right i apologize season one with Amon and like the the taking away people's bending thing the fact that that is 12 episodes and a portion of the first episodes are dedicated to Korra like exploring Republic City and meeting people and doing the pro bending thing that does not have enough time in the oven to be meaningful like it, ju it just doesn't like there, there's barely any time for it to for it to cook right it's taken out of the oven too early it should have been two seasons but it's not it's one season and it feels like everything gets resolved very very quickly because they set up the threat the threat is credible it's really cool and then it's over right because it has to get resolved within like like i think it was episode nine where i'm like this shit is crazy i'm invested and then it ends on episode 12 and it's like oh that that doesn't feel very satisfying at all and then season two is this crazy bullshit that is even more complicated and it's like well we've only got 14 episodes and two of them aren't even relevant to moving the plot forward right now aman has such an interesting wasted concept he does because it's so cool to have like this weirdo guy in a mask who's like a vigilante who can take away people's bending. Like, that is so interesting. And then they even angle it into, like, the Avatar stuff, where it's like the Avatar isn't restoring balance to the world. I am. Like, that's a really cool, like, narrative concept from... Um, why did I come to the police station? I'm stupid, right? Oh, yeah, no, I am stupid. Sorry about that. It's a really interesting narrative concept. And it's very interesting from, like, a like ideology standpoint of like what the avatar is and what Amon is. It's it's very fascinating. And episode 9 when he like tanks blood bending, I'm like this guy is crazy. Like that shit was so cool. And it's just it, it just feels like it is so not util like it's so underutilized because it just, it gets resolved way too fast. Like it should have been a two season thing. And then what I think is even crazier is season, <laughs> season two is so batshit crazy and needs so much time to, for us to like, 
because it does a lot of work as like it does a, a lot of world building it does a metric ton of world building and the thing about it that's really important is the like okay the movie stuff the mover stuff with the uh, nuck tuck like that seems pointless and like a waste of time but it does a really good job like expanding like the world and its technology and how we think about like the technological advances of the world it sets up varric and julie it does like it seems like it's a complete waste of time but it's really important for the world building but when you have 14 episodes and you have a decent chunk of some episodes being dedicated yeah i'll take a ritual dagger thank you <laughs> on ill-fated lamo um when you have a decent amount of like time dedicated to like the movers and like Noctok and like propaganda and all this stuff with Bo Lin. It's a lot of character development for Bo Lin and it's good, but it just feels completely out of place and awful because you you don't have any time for anything. Like you're you're a 14 episode season and you are trying to majorly expand and like alter concepts of like what bending is how like the origins of the world the origins of society the the origins of yin and yang good versus evil like you're just completely like you don't have the time in 14 episodes to do that and they do it anyways and it just feels it just feels bad season three is really good <laughs> it is it is directly from the consequences of season two, and if I talked about it out of context to people who have no idea what Korra is but know about Avatar, or if they have, uh, or they dropped Korra before season three or before the end of season two, I would say a lot of shit that sounds insane, but it works for what, like, it works really well, and unfortunately, it kind of only works in the context of, like, Season 2's ending having these consequences, right? Season 3 is really good. The toxin scene was crazy. Like, that was way too intense. And, I mean, I I'm down with it. That shit was crazy. That's awesome. Do you, do you think do you think the allies will do it big? No, 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 no. We, 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 gotta, we gotta block. We, we gotta block. We, we, we gotta let them cook. We gotta let the allies cook, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. They also seem to be kind of buggy with the, uh, the boost attacks. Like, they, like, they're really easy to, like, sneak in extra boosts past the time unit bar. That's a little bit strange. And then season, like, season three is good. Unfortunately, you have to watch season two for it to make sense. Because if you just skip to season three, you're gonna be very confused. But see, season two, uh, see, season three is very good. I, I enjoyed season three a lot, and one of the reasons why it works so well is that the concept is not complicated. The concept is easy to understand, and it is not like it, it, it's a easy to understand, not complicated, very just plain. There is a group of evil benders who are all really cool, by the way. Like, the, the evil bending team are awesome. Absolutely. I love how they all have, like, these crazy innovations on how they, like, do their own bending. Absolutely phenomenal, right? And their goal is just to kidnap Korra. That, that's the goal, right? Is just kidnap Avatar Korra. That easy to understand, easy to follow, and they even managed to sneak in foreshadowing for season four and, like, where it's gonna go in the future, right? Because they have that extra time because they don't have to try to explain, like, the spirits or the they don't have to go through, like, a lot of spirit world stuff or, like, old Avatar stuff. They can just, like, immediately just jump in, like, simple concept, evil benders trying to kidnap Korra and they're able to fit all this cool stuff in all this world building and they're able to do it really well because they have that extra time and then in something like uh whatchamacallit I think we'll go in the violent vigil now we're we're decently healthy 
you look into something like whatchamacallit <laughs> season like season three it just works really well because it, it, it's not like they don't need as much time in the oven to make the concept work like season one feels like it should have been like two seasons at least or like a season and a half Season two feels like it should be the length of the entire goddamn original series, right? It should have, like, three seasons dedicated to, like, uh, the Southern Water Tribe, the Spirit World, and the original Avatar being season two, and then season three being, like, the showdown with the North, right? Like, that should be three seasons. Because you have a, a, an immense amount of ground to cover. And season... Three is fine with just being one season. That totally fine. Absolutely. 100% totally okay. 100% fine. Clap, 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 bow. Like, season three is the only season that feels like it was meant to be a single season. Like, legitimately. That that's gen that's genuinely how I feel about it. And season four, I think it has the same problem with season one. I think it should be two seasons. I don't know how they're going to resolve this as quickly as they are because they've done a lot of they've done a lot of setup. They've done a lot of world building, but there hasn't really been any conflict to get the viewer like invested with what's going on. The only thing that they've really done is like Korra dueling. Uh, what is her name? the the evil lady and losing right which Cora probably should still not be losing i'm gonna be real with you that that's probably like Cora is like i don't know okay because one of the things that i heard when this show came out was everybody was pissed off at how like competent Korra was immediately they were like oh ang needed to train for so long to be able to do this and Korra's doing this shit when she's a kid. It's like, the whole purpose of the original series is that Aang has to train the elements. The whole purpose of the new series is that Korra is caught in some insane conspiracy bullshit in whatever the conspiracy of the season is, right? She doesn't, like, there's no narrative need for her to go through, like, the Avatar training. You can just skip through that, which they do for the most part, right? She masters water, earth, and fire before, like, the show even begins. But Korra gets her ass kicked so often. Like, it's insane. Like, I watched Avatar The Last Airbender in preparation for finally watching Korra. Like, Aang gets his ass kicked sometimes, but, like, Aang and Airbender's, like, whole thing is they avoid right like he's dodging he's using his agility he's using his opponent's strength against him Korra she just kind of throws herself she's very hot-headed she kind of just throws herself at the problem and she gets the shit kicked out of her it's crazy and at some point you feel like she would start winning but she usually loses until the final episode like I just want her to take one dub like, just one dub before the final episode. It would be kind of nice. Like, I don't think she's weak. I think she's really strong. But damn, she does, she does get her ass beat a lot. Uh, nah, nah, nah. We'll, we'll, we'll take the doom, that's fine. Actually, no, we're at 67% doom. No way, get get this out of here. How dare you. I mean, we're just gonna get a low roll again, right? You you can't that's one of the things about ally attacks, they're pretty unpredictable. But the sad thing is is that season four is like really good so far. The problem is is that I it's just gonna end abruptly for no reason. <laughs> because all that's what happened in season one, is it ended abruptly for no reason, and it's just like, oh yeah, we're doing this now. And then Season 2 just... Season 2 did not have time to do what it wanted. Anyways, that was the Avatar Korra rant. I'll probably do another one once I'm done with Season 4.
But like, I don't know, it's just, it is crazy. Uh, we, we can do this and then sell the handcuffs. Never mind, I didn't want to sell the handcuffs anyways, that's fine. Currently, my, my, my final thoughts, quote unquote, would be that it's like, I'm enjoying it. Like, I, I don't dislike, I, I don't dislike Korra. I just think that, like, it was set up for failure at every available opportunity, and that's why they couldn't cook. Like, I, like, it could be, like, they're never, I don't think they're ever gonna do it, but if they ever did, like, a remake of Korra and made it, like, a really long series, where it's, like, the Amon stuff is two seasons, uh, the book Spirits is, like, three seasons, book three can basically be unchanged, the, what is it, um, is it Balance? No, no, it's something else. It's, it's... It's like, book one is air, right? Because she's mastering airbending. And then book two is spirits. I think book four is balance. I don't remember what book three is. But uh, book three could basically just be exactly the same. And book four, probably two seasons. Because it just, like... It just seems like it's going to be... Way, like, it's going to be over too quickly. Like, they have to start book four with basically like a hey the evil lady has already done it right like she she's already won basically the only and be, they have to do that because they don't have the time to like set her up as a proper villain they just have to skip to the end where she is already a villain and I think that's such a... It, it makes me like Bolin less. Because, obviously, like, Bolin is just like a... Like, Bolin's kind of stupid. We love him. Bolin's one of my favorite characters. But, like, he's joined this horrible person and just kind of, like, never questioned anything. And he has stayed with her loyally until her final conquest. And then he's like, well, now she wants to throw me in a re-education camp. Now I'm, now I'm gonna break out of here with Varric. Which, by the way, Varric and Julie, some of my favorite characters. I absolutely love those two. I know they're playing off of, like, a stereotype that is, like, not great, but I love Varric, I love Julie. They're absolutely fantastic characters. I love them. I think it helps that Varric is, like, just genuinely a weirdo. That it just, I, I just want to go along with whatever. I, I, I just want to go along with whatever Varric says. Just be, he, he's genuinely a weirdo, but he like, I, I, Varric, Varric and Julie are some of my favorite characters. I really love them. I love them both. Absolutely glad that they have been like a consistent thing. But, um,. Yeah, no, it's, uh, and here's the thing, I didn't talk about fan service at all during it. I, I'm, like, kind of, like, half and half on the fan service. Because on one hand, I think that some of it is a little much, but on the other hand, some of it works. Like, I, I, I think it's half and half. Like, I think most of the time when they do a fan service-y thing, it kind of makes sense. And some of the times when they do a fan servicey thing, it, it doesn't really make sense. But it, 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 like, okay, I shouldn't say that. I should say that it's like, uh, I should say that it's like Crimson Cape. That's, that's what I should definitely say. It's definitely like Akamanto. I think all the fan service makes sense. I just feel like they could have done something else and it could have potentially worked better. Now, what those things could be, I don't know. I'm in the middle of playing World of Horror. I'm surprised that uh, I've managed to keep this coherent of a uh, a topic going for this long. But it did slow the it did slow the rundown. We'll have to speed run the Kyrie episode. The Kyrie episode. Oh no 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 no. 
Uh, I mean, we can probably just take high threat level at the hospital. That's probably fine. You hate to see that part. You, you do hate to see that part specifically. We're gonna do something like this. We're gonna head on down here to the monument. We're gonna go ahead and spend some stamina there, and we're gonna be moving on. Akamanto does not actually care about the toilet paper rights, that is true. I guess the last thing that I'll say on it is the one thing that truly just baffled me. And I mean, listen, they could have ended it in 80 million ways. And I don't even hate it, right? Like, I don't even dislike it. I was just, bro, was genuinely flabbergasted, and that's a neutral statement. Is the ending of season two <laughs> was so <laughs> out of pocket. Like... I was, I was live, like, Discord messaging Plunger as I was going through it, and I'm like, huh, I wonder how Korra is gonna get out of this one. And I mean, it's like, huh. Neat. Uh, here, we're gonna do the classic, which theoretically this is enough to kill, but just in case... Actually, I don't know if that was theoretically... And yeah, no, it was. That was theoretically enough to kill. But we're just gonna... Oh, we're gonna die. I um, was not paying attention. Can you believe it? He, homie was not paying attention? No way. Hey, look, it's... It's three stamina. It's three stamina, everybody. Huh? Yeah, I guess the game heard me. The game agreed it was three stamina. No way, what happened? Funny mask moment? Funny mask moment. That's so funny. Anyways, I probably should have equipped the box cutter, but we're, we're riding and dying by the ally attack, you know what I'm saying? It's ally attack. We're an ally attack Andy. Hell yeah, 40% chance, baby. I'm in the game. EA, it's in the game. You think I can dodge twice? No, you piece. All right, we're gonna send the allies in for an attack, and then we're gonna we're gonna hit him with the good old-fashioned shin kick, kick his knees in. Ah, it was eight damage. It was a lot of damage. All right, now we get to do the Kyrie run. Me and three mysteries Rutsu. That's okay. That that was the that that was the anecdote. That that was the anecdote mystery, all right? That was the anecdote run where I was paying more attention to the anecdote than the game. Me and Ally Rutsu. We only had 3 allies, by the way. That's not good. Like that that is not a good amount of allies to have. We didn't get any events to give us more allies. We didn't have the illegal den, which is something that I never thought I would say to be honest with you. But here we are. Uh, I'll take a random... I'll, I'll take a class of 1980X, and by that I mean Eldritch Parasite. Thank you. I'm thinking... I'm thinking about a life coach. Goddamn right. Oh, money! I love money. You should give me money. <laughs> you do not have to give me money. Nobody has to give me money. But... You can. And that's what we call... That's what we call mind-controlling. Just broadcast the signal, the subliminal message, and it will eventually work. Uh, we go history club, seaside, mansion. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, got to lock in. It's so funny, because, like, people say that, like, lock in just works. But, like, I have never seen it work. I, I think that is definitely cope. I 100% I believe and agree. Because people will say, like, alright, we gotta lock in, we gotta lock in. One of the one of the guys in my static was saying that when we were when we were trolling on phase one. We need to do one more reclear. We need to do one more reclear so that everybody has eight books. I've already spent all my books on buying a chess piece. 
because of the the funny moments the family guy funny moments even that we are uh some people might be privy to uh yeah sure teen witch why not time to time to cast some spells hold on hold on hold on hold on we gotta look at the tv like 80 more billion times it's morn she's there but where's Moriko? Uh, there she is. We saw her. Goodbye. There we go. All right. Coma paint painting. You don't say, thaumaturgy teacher, huh? You don't say, do you? Ah, sure. Life coach is telling us to go to the apartments. We can go to the apartments. That's... Me and life coach Rutsu. All right. Thank you, Yogathag. You want me to go back to the apartments? How could I ever? How could I ever deny you after that? Thank you so much, King. Sure. Mm. Do I want to go to the village? You know... That's what the life coach is saying. Who am I to disagree? Plus two sa- it Telling me not to go to the hospital. I will absolutely follow your- I, I will follow your advice, and I will follow your lead. Thank you so much. As long as I'm interpreting the, the divine instructions correctly, we're gonna be A-OK. -okay. We're gonna be A- All right. A is for all right. O is for okay. Uh, this is not the one that locks you out, right? I don't think it is. 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 I think there's another one that we can click on. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Listen to the life coach chat. He'll... He'll take you places in your life. Thank God we don't have the Yakuza card or I would have bought something without my, uh, w without wanting to. I would have been pressured into a, a, oh, okay. You're telling me something. You're trying to, t you're trying to tell me something, life coach. And I'm going to listen to you. What, what did I, what did I say? He'll lead you to victory. It'll lead you to victory. It's a giant salmon in the marina trench. I mean, now that we're kind of cooking. Now we're cooking with gas. Now, with that being said, I'm a little... I'm not super... Not super happy with 95% chance. Yeah. Yeah, that's about what I was expecting. I didn't will that into existence. I just know. I've had pretty good reads on this game so far. Me and 40 health Rutsu. You think we could, uh, you think we could get like a little block going on over here? Yeah, a little block, a little dodge. A little happy feet? Oh. Yeah, sure. Fair enough. Uh, alright, so we have a problem. We have a bigger problem than what I necessarily thought. It's, look who closed the roads. How am I gonna get to the mansion now to meet up with my favorite artist? Um... Uh, alright, controversial statement, we're going in, chat. Listen, if you were bleeding to death, but you could meet a world-famous a world-famous artist and break into his garden shed and steal his chainsaw, would you? Because I would. Now, we just have to not take any stamina damage outside of our bleeding to death, and we'll be fine. Look at that, we're already taking a bunch of sanity damage. Isn't that great? This was a threat level location? I'm kinda dumb, aren't I? Yeah, I'm kinda dumb. I'm a little stupid. I'm a little, I'm a little dumb. I'm a little dumb. I'm a little idiotic. 
I'm moving in ways that you can no longer understand, that you can no longer comprehend. I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm plus two stamina. Oh, what's this? Event 999? For me? It's groovy time. But yeah, sorry, the Korra thing was the big anecdote. I don't have anything else lined up. Kind of like in a no thoughts, head empty kind of zone. So I guess that's good for like focusing on the run. The only thing that I've been up to that's fun wise is... Well, hello there. The only thing that I've been up to that's fun wise is... Uh oh. Uh. I mean, a little extra knowledge never hurt anybody, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never hurt anybody. Just just up in the hospital bill for later. That's not hurting somebody. That's hurting my wallet. I mean... There we go. See? It just works. Don't think about it. Just kill. Just power word kill, and everything will be alright. Now, how do we get three funds? I think I know how. I think I know how. Yeah, I'm thinking it's botany time. Me and two more Rutsu. I'm sorry, we're going straight to the pharmacy. I'm not listening to my life coach because the life coach is not a licensed medical professional. We don't need handcuffs. Handcuffs are less valuable. When when you're in the kind of world that we are and you have a chainsaw, handcuffs are less valuable. How are you going to handcuff someone when you saw off their hands with the chainsaw? You ever think about that? But the only uh, the only uh, other fun thing that I've been doing is I've been working on my uh, Final Fantasy alt as like a crafting bot. Uh Yeah, sure. We got painkillers. That's fine. We can just immediately We can just immediately take them. It's all good. Don't want to strategize around them too much. We can just go. Yeah, sure. We just lost some stamina. Let's lose some sanity. That's all right. We rolled a 12. Uh, nah, I don't want to. I don't want to investigate twice. That's fine. Too much hassle, too much pain, too much hurt. But basically, I need a crafting bot. I think I've said this before. Need a crafting bot, and start. Finally, started working on it. I only did a story boost, so I have to like grind exp for all my levels, which is fine. Okay, all right. Oh, yeah, you can just, you can just do that. That's fine. <laughs> I was like, oh, no. I'm gonna die. But it's like, nah, I'm, not, I'm, I'm actually fine. Ooh, we rolled a three. You'll love to see it. Now, what do you want to do here? Self therapy's pretty good. But let's go ahead and get Ghost Connection. And then... I don't know... I'm thinking plus two stamina is like a little treat so that we don't die immediately on this strength check. I mean, I decided to roll that. We're going to get humbled very quickly. We're going to get humbled very quickly when this is like the climb the mountain thing. Or not. Maybe we're never punished. Maybe, maybe we're not punished. But yeah, that, that's been going well. Just getting my... Just having to level up the... I just need to level White Mage up to eight, uh, 81 so I can start doing the MSQ. And then I'll be able to start power leveling... All... Well, I can start power leveling all my crafters uh, the moment I hit level 50. Because that's when you unlock the Firmament and the Diadem. Get all that shit to level 20 and then it power levels you to 80 really easily. 60 levels for free, basically. Uh, yeah, we'll take stamina. We're not in a good spot right now, but, you know, um, the, these two mysteries exist. Aren't you happy that they exist? 
Life coach is telling me not to go to the forest. I'm not going to go to the forest today. It's shrimple as that. Mm. Oops, it's the cannibal eating contest. I do need to go to the forest twice, so if life coach is giving me the all clear, I think I'm all right with that. Uh, this, on the other hand, you can you can go straight to hell. Me and self-therapy Rutsu. I really wish I had it. But Ghost Connection, I mean... You know, oh, there it is. There's the forest ritual event. I was wondering when you'd get here. So, we can save ourselves if it's sanity. But... We can't save ourselves if it's stamina. Why do we have 80 more billion Doom, by the way? I don't even remember, like, pissing the life coach off that much. I just feel like our Doom's been skyrocketing. Have we been going into Doomed locations? I thought they were all at least threat level regular. Or, like, threatening. Ah, uh, we did go to the mansion for a little bit, didn't we? Yeah, we did go to the mansion for a little bit. Do we have roads closed? Oh, it's roads closed! Funny! Funny moment! Alright, so here's what we can do. Uh, nothing. We're going to lose the game. There, there's no other way to put it. We're gonna lose. We got roads closed. We have three out-of-town mysteries. It's Jover. It's Jover chat. But what do you think we could do? As a funny? Uh, not much. There's, there's not much interesting funny that we could do. So, instead... Uh, we're just gonna go out in a blaze of glory. Uh, yeah, I mean, we, we can just, we can just do this. This is fine. We have no way of reducing the doom, so it really is just Jover. But you know what? You know what I'll do? You know what I'll give you as a treat? Actually, hold on. How much do you want to gamble here? It's actually kind of crazy, I'm not gonna lie. It's actually pretty good. I still think we're 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 done. We're by done, but I'll I'll take it. Um Yeah sure we'll take the stamina, that's fine. Just one stamina. We just got that back. I think we're still I think we still lost, but that's kind of crazy RNG just out of nowhere. Kyrie with the unexpected swings. Oh no, not again, please. If I see expel evil, I'm gonna... Protective carvings is not expel evil. Uh, yeah, give me stamina. Do we have another in-town investigation after this? Can we just keep going to the monument? Testing our luck? Yeah, we can, we, we can test our luck a little bit more. We can? We can make the fun thing again. Huh. I mean, you do kind of hate to see that, but like, what are you expecting, you know? Uh, you're done, right? Like, you're, you're, you're just done? We have to hit all of these, though, which is kind of, kind of scary. I don't know if I want to, like, block just to make this a little bit nicer. Um, you know what? Unexpected swings, am I right? We would never miss an attack. Once we got the chainsaw in there, how do you get it out? Sanity? Yeah, that is sanity. Um... Now, the problem is that you're still camping at the hospital, so I'm, I'm not sure what you want me to do here. 
Uh, we do not have the stamina for that. We do not pass go. You're still camping the hospital, which makes this a little bit more problematic. So sorry, we have to go. But uh, we did live a lot longer. There's the branded light cattle, all right. We lived a lot longer than I would have expected. So fair enough, you know, fair enough. That was, uh... Why is it always the Kyrie run that's just a little bit awkward, you know? Just a little bit, just a little bit awkward. Me and inviting for coffee, Ritsu. Oh, look the funny... Funny thing, that's crazy. Well, we're dead here. Actually, we're, we're not, but, you know... We're, we're dead here, functionally speaking. Because it's the end. Shoutouts to Roads Closed. We, uh, we would, we would have won without Roads Closed, which is always a, a great, amazing thing to think about. Just how wonderful Roads Closed is as a, uh, as a concept. But I suppose that's why you can reroll mysteries. Alright, you got me for four more minutes, you know what time it is. You absolutely know what time it is, right? Surely. There should at least be an, a new one. Let's play. Now, how do I do this on... Okay. So we have this window. And I'm going to... Zoom it in like this. That's the wrong one. There we go. Poison and grass don't even... Don't even step up to me. Grass and Johto? Um... The sunflower seed. Grass and ice. That's a little harder. Dark and poison. I don't know why I want to keep answering Drapion. Water and poison? Uh, the, the quillfish. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Um, fish. Eesh. There we go. Water and Johto? We could do... Well, for lack of a better answer. Water and ice. It's not Lapras, is it? Lapras is water and ice. Yeah, okay, okay. Ice and dark? That's Sableye, right? No, incorrect. Uh, ice and grass. Dark and Johto. Is that Sableye? No. <laughs> okay, I get to get out of dark and poison. Wait, 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 wait. That's a low that's a Alolan monk, is a uh, muck, isn't it? A Lola muck? Mulk? Alola Muck? Muck. Yeah, 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 I watched a video of Alola Muck. Um... Hmm. Rats and Ice. I feel like I should know this one. I feel like I've seen this one. And Dark and Ice. That one's a little tough. Uh, Ice. Uh, obviously, uh, Dion C. Sure, sure. No, it's like rock or something. Eh, whatever. Let's see what it was supposed to be. Shin Pao. Overquill? Oh, yeah, Umbreon was introduced in Gen 2. Murkrow. Sneasel! It was Sneasel that I was thinking of the whole time! It was Sneasel. It wasn't Sableye. I got them confused. You peace. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. My name is Web Weaver. I'll see you on the next episode of whatever you decide to watch next. I don't know why I'm doing my regular outro when this is a stream. I just got an Expedia ad. I want to die. Because, you know, obviously I have to listen to myself. What the hell is an Arctovish? Like, oh yeah, everybody, it's Arctovish. Anyways, thanks for watching the stream. I appreciate it. I'm gonna hit this funny button.
I, I just want to know what happens. I mean, I can assume I know what happens. Nothing happened? Huh? It said insert ad, and it didn't insert an ad. I don't see an ad. I'm watching this on a... Oh, whatever. Thanks for watching. Thanks you thank you so much for watching the stream. I really appreciate it. I'll see you on the next episode of whatever you decide to watch next. The next thing I upload is gonna be Disillusion tomorrow. Uh Lunacid and Lunacid and the other thing, um Dark Souls are back next week. That was a choice that I made so that Josephine and Plunger would have more time to work on the future episodes. So bye. Bye-bye. Stay safe. Goodbye. Farewell. We'll talk later. In the words of Commander Shepard, we'll talk later, okay? This is my favorite YouTube channel on the Citadel. <laughs>